With the emergence of the Me Too movement fighting against sexual misconduct, business owners are taking precautions to prevent issues in their own workplace. Naperville News 17's Casey Krajewski has more. Sexual harassment in a Me Too society was the featured topic covered at the Naperville Area Chamber of Commerce's most recent luncheon. Panelists Leah Setson, Kevin McCarthy, and David Carpenter explored how the Me Too movement has changed the climate surrounding sexual misconduct and how to identify and handle sexual harassment. Anytime anybody feels uncomfortable in the workplace, anytime somebody says something that um, is inappropriate, um, what might be sexual harassment for um, Kevin right now it may not be sexual harassment for me. The panel discussed different examples of sexual harassment, common misconceptions, and how it's treated differently than other crimes. It doesn't have to be just based on a sexual desire. It could be uh, derogatory sexual comments about someone. It could be negative sexual comment about someone they found unattractive. A sexual misconduct tends to be one of the only crime-based things that we tend to be a little bit more like, are you sure that happened? You know, someone comes to you and says, they stole my wallet or someone broke into my car. We don't say, are you sure? that that yeah. happened? You know, we, so, but we do that oftentimes with sexual misconduct related things in our culture. Much of the discussion revolved around what to do after an incident was reported, an important takeaway for many. Uh, to never dismiss any type of uh, uh, sexual harassment brought by an employee. You need to um, acknowledge it, listen, and find out what the uh, issue was and address the problem. For Naperville News 17, I'm Casey Krajewski. The U.S. Equal Opportunity Commission estimates that one in four women face harassment in the workplace.